Now that we created a form group, let's check out a way we could create a nested form group. So uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll go into the TS file and we'll create a nested form group called address. And we'll also just copy and paste something right out of Bootstrap in our HTML and set up our nested address form group within our HTML as well. Uh, let's start in the TS file. In the TS file, it's pretty straightforward. All we're going to do is create a new form group within our current user form form group. So right here towards the end, I'll create another uh, property address. And this is going to be a new form group. And like we did above, uh, we just put in an object and in here we'll put all our controls. So I'm thinking of just having like four controls. So I'll copy this piece right here and just paste it in here. Save on a little typing. And then on the uh, end here, I'll add another one. Copy and paste. Change over all the values. And that's pretty much it for creating a nested form group. Save this. And our TS file is pretty much done. If we go back to our, our checklist. So now let's set up our HTML. And if we go out to Bootstrap, I have a, a, a snippet here already. So this is perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for. If we go down here, we'll just copy uh, starting at the address. Start at this div right here. And copy all the way down to the uh, check right here. Copy that and jump back into our HTML and open this up. So right below the confirm password div, I'm gonna create another container. And this is very important. I'll call this section so it stands out. So section, and here you wanna add in a, a attribute like we did here with the form control name, but this is gonna be form group uh, name instead. So form group, and this is the one you're after, form group name. And this is going to be equal to that nested form group we just created. And I called it address. So you want to make sure that this name matches up with this name right here. So if we go back here and inside here, I'll paste the uh, snippet. And just make some changes here. Like this all looks perfect. I'm going to leave that exactly the way it is. And then remove this. I could have added the address too. Normally you would do that, but I'm just going to get rid of it. Kind of keep the form uh, smaller uh, for the video. And then this I'll change over to street. And that looks pretty good. Let's save that. That's the way you want your form to look like is like this. Uh, let's check that out in the browser real quick to make sure we didn't break anything. If we go back to our browser and go over here and that looks really good and let's get this part working so we'll uh, just copy and paste that right into our project inside of our ts file i'll just paste a property name i'll add that right here and this is going to be an array of strings a bunch of states that the user will be able to pick from and then if we save this jump in back into our html and then right here i'm just going to replace this i'm going to copy and paste this as well so paste and this is pretty straightforward. So we have the first option here and it's disabled. So the user won't be able to pick it. And it says choose a state. And then here we display everything that's in that array we just created right here. And it displays all of them uh, within right here. So each each state gets its own option. So we're, we're displaying it like that. So let's just check that in the browser, make sure that's all working. So we'll save this, jump back into the browser and we should have a bunch of options here and that's a nice little trick so now the user can't choose the the uh, choose a state anymore they can only choose a state uh, so now that we set up our form let's make this form reactive now make our uh, form reactive now it's pretty easy to do we're going to do exactly what we did up here with the form control name so i'll just copy this actually and then in all the inputs and the section tag we want to add this so add it here uh, within the city input, you want to add it there. I'll just add it onto the end here. It'll format it for me later when I save it. And here you want to add it at the, or within the section tag. So paste it here. And then the uh, zip code, will add it here. And then the names here, you want to make sure that these names match up with what you got going on here. So street, city, state, and zip. So just make sure they're, uh, they're spelled correctly. So this is going to be zip. And this is for our state, so I'll change this over to state, city, and street. 
And that's pretty much it for adding the React part to our form. So let's save this. Let's check it out in the browser, see if everything's still working. Let's open up the console. So we are currently logging everything when we save the form. So this should still work, the save button. Uh, let's add a bunch of information now. And this. And pick a state. And if we hit save, we should get everything in the console. So open this up. So now we have a nested form group called address. And we open that up and there's all our nested information for that form group right there. And that's how you create a nested form group. Now in the next video, if we go back to our checklist here and we go back to our task, now we're going to start checking out some of the methods that we can use when using Angular Reactive. And we'll figure out ways where we can update the data in our form. And we'll do that in the next video. So I'll see you then.